Sebastian Bakninen and uh, he's welcoming us uh, in his beautiful studio. Thank Welcome. you for having us. Uh. Thanks for coming. I'd like to ask you a couple of things about your beautiful work. So uh, first of all I'd like to know what's your process and uh, if you have a particular process and if there is one stage of the process that you prefer. Um, I like to be organized uh, because sometimes my projects are very complicated and I've been in situations where I've been completely tearing my hair out, so uh, uh, process is important to me. Yes, one particular process, no, it changes depending on the, the project. Mm -hmm. so. Any part of the process that you enjoy the most? The act of painting, because that's the only time I, I'm not worrying about things. So it's just that's a zen, that's the zen point, and I like the result, and I like the fact that I, I'm motivated to to do better. And like very critical of myself, so that pushes me to to try out new things. Yeah. And how technology, the use of the computer, internet uh, interacts with your work? Um, I use the internet as a tool, uh, like most people. It's helped uh, developing my artwork. I can, uh, if I'm doing something commercial, I can show a client how it's going to look uh, before they even accept the project, which helps me gain work. Uh, and also for the media. Uh, for public relations, for marketing my work, uh, then it's, I can access the whole world and people can give me instant feedbacks which, which helps a lot to see uh, the response of the people. Uh, yeah. So nowadays street art is very fashionable I would say, it's something that is like trendy and the people yeah. that don't know much about art are very interested in it, <laughs> I would like to know what your take on this thing. Well street art is fashionable because it's accessible and you don't have to go to a gallery to appreciate it. So the average person who usually wouldn't even ha have an influence from that in their own personal lives can suddenly walk down the street and be faced with a giant building uh, of art and then have questions to what was this and then find out more. And it's good for me that it's a fashionable thing uh, because it gives me a lot of opportunities and it's like there's no struggle. The whole the artist suffering uh, isolated in a studio without anyone knowing he exists is almost over if you're uh, using the platform for street art because you can't be ignored uh, doing something like that in public. And it's a good way to communicate with, uh, the, uh, with the community and the artists, put them together um, and the projects become more personal that way, I think. Well, thank you so much for your words. It was great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>